You're live here now, eh? Well, good afternoon. Sorry about that. I'm having some internet issues. You hearing me good? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, my whole countdown got stopped just now again. I don't know what happened. So welcome again this afternoon to Times of Re Refreshing right here on Scholar Thread Ministries Facebook page. Um, I'm not sticking, right? No. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know what happened there just now. So, yeah. yeah, we don't know what kind of day you had, what kind of week you've had. We don't know what you're going through, but come and sit down with us, laugh as we discuss God's word, as we <clears> just talk up topics on God's word. And, um, you know, just come get your mind off of things. And, um, you know, we pray that you will be refreshed after this session, right? So we just want to open up with a word of prayer and then we'll dive straight into our discussion. Heavenly Father, we just thank you this afternoon for health, for strength, O oh God, Lord. We just thank you for life, O oh God, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just bless each viewer that's on this afternoon and we just pray, O oh God, that their hearts will be blessed, O oh God, Heavenly Father, that their families and their households by extension will be blessed, O oh God, Lord, as we discuss your word, O oh God, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we just pray, O oh God, that, um, you know, you continue to do and complete your work in each one of us, O oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, so we just want to say a warm welcome to all our viewers. We are your hosts, as you see, Sarah and Glenn. It's our father-daughter duo. And we're here on this nice Wednesday afternoon, the 24th of February, 2021. Today, our discussion is entitled Prepare War, and it's coming from Joel 3 and 9. So let's get into it. Well, be, be, before I start, um, and before we start, I just want to, to, to tell you, I thought you preached with some fire Sunday morning. <laughs> you, should, you should try and remember what you had for breakfast, so that when you're coming back, <laughs> when you're coming back Sunday morning, you will eat the same thing now. Yeah. I do the same thing as a matter of fact. If I was you, I wouldn't even wash the clothes I wear Sunday morning. I bring back the same thing. And I come <laughs> back next Sunday and this Sunday morning, I preach the same with the same thing. God, I suppose my just some anointing and that clothes too still from, yeah, sa from, the, from the, Sunday um, gone. The oh gosh, it's leftover foods I eat. Leftover food I eat from my neighbor. Well, should I ask them to make all something for you Saturday night? <laughs> Yeah, on Saturday night, so we went by there and we eat leftovers for breakfast. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it was good. I thought Sunday I wonder morning. what I do with my outfit. Well, we are Sunday. Just don't wash it. When I say we do good it. with something, we just keep the clothes and wait until it's finished. How do you think them? That's some big runs on the road when they're collecting money and they inform. And people give them things, they keep on the same clothes. I uh -huh. went and until they're done, you know, because I said, I didn't know men this clothes. I want them to feel like a different person coming to us. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, mm -hmm. I think so I don't watch so my outfit from Sunday already, yes? Yeah, so they do, they, they, um, they mm -hmm. do those, they, you know, a lot of them do those things. But t yeah. uh, today I want to talk about, prepare, it, it, some translations say prepare for war. In Joel, prepare for war, uh-huh. It's chapter 3 and verse But I don't want to say, I don't want, I don't want um, to use other translations because we will lose the essence of what it is I want to speak about today. Okay. And it's not prepare for war in the original text. It says prepare war. Prepare war. Okay. And this is in Joel. Now, what mm -hmm. happened is um, I was going out to speak on praise and worship, right? Okay. And while looking around and thinking and trying to get it together, I just a stumble on Joel. I said in praise and worship and the mm -hmm. effects of it, but not to praise like in church. And I mean, to praise in church, yes, but it, it wasn't um, planned to, to speak in church. It was right. a, a really to help uh, people who were outside there. And uh, I mean, we, we really don't cater much to, to, to church people. We, we really have these programs for the, for, for, for the people who don't go to church. So we bring mm -hmm. the church home by them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, and this is why this, I, I, I just I wanted to, to edify, to exhort, and to bring comfort to some of the people. And to, to, to you know, mm -hmm. exhort there means to instruct and show people how to handle certain situations. And how okay. praise works and things outside of the worship service and how it works in the home and things like that. But while I was studying, I came up on this 
and, and you know, I read in and I study in and I, I say, you know what? I saw Joel, she and I, and we had Joel. God was speaking to Joel. And Joel was a, prof, a, a prophet in the Old Testament. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Joel, now, he's the one who prophesied that the holy days will come when your young men shall dream, dream, your, uh, um, the old men shall dream, dreams, and young men shall see visions and things like that. So Joel had a prophecy, and some of his prophecies were spoken of in the New Testament when Peter spoke in the book of Acts about um, about Joel and his prophetic utterances that, uh, you know, has, has come to pass. Mm -hmm. So, and it says who Joel was. So, while reading, mm -hmm. today I studied in Joel and things, I said, and as a matter of fact, I even know today's Wednesday. Because uh -huh. I'm busy. Yeah. Okay, okay. And I say, uh, I say, oh, shucks, today's <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Let me prepare something. So, yeah. I, 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 I want to begin by, by explaining what Joel 3 and chapter 3 and verse 9 says. Mm -hmm. Um, well, in, in the book of Joel, there's only about three chapters that have, but what happened early in the chapter, Joel was speaking, and the, the Israel was led into captivity, and, 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 and um, God was speaking to Joel, and excuse me, what happened there is that Joel started to prophesy to the people, and while he started to prophesy, the prophet Joel, he started to prophesy, and what they did is they, they led Israel into, captive, into a captivity, Mm -hmm. the, 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 um, the countries around the soul, some of Judah's children, mm -hmm. into slavery. They tried to destroy Israel. For years, they've been trying to destroy Israel, the enemy. Right. I've been trying to destroy Israel. So Israel now uh, were in captivity, and they sold some of Israel's children, uh, some of Judah's children into captivity, into slavery, and they sent them far away because they wanted to, to destroy the, the, um, the, 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 the Jewish nation. Mm -hmm. And you see that still happening today. So mm -hmm. here it is. In, chapter, in the early part of chapter 3, God was speaking through Joel, and, and he was saying that, uh, okay, you sent um, Judah children to enter a captivity, and, the, and your sin has been fulfilled. Right. But then he comes to chapter 9, which I think we misunderstand what was really, some of us, misunderstand what God was saying through Joel in chapter, in, in verse 9. Right. Say verse 9 to 12, which mm -hmm. is what I want to speak about today. So after he said all those things, he said, listen, you know what? In verse 9, he say, listen, Joel, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Now, okay. Gentiles and heathens is the same thing. And that is the word. Anybody who is not um, a, a Jew or, or who wants a Hebrew and all those will consider that Gentiles or the heathen. The heathen really will. Heathen, they mean will. So, it is God spoke to Joel after. He said, well, look, all these things happen in Israel. Was that in captivity? He's telling Joel now. He said, proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Mm -hmm. Verse 10 says, Beat your plowshares into swords. That popular verse. A lot of people know this. Beat your plowshares into swords and your prune hooks. A pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. 11. Assemble yourselves and come all the heathen. And right. gather yourselves together round about. Consider, cause thy mighty ones to come, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. You know what Lord here means. Let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there I will sit. I will, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Now, a lot of people, myself included, before I started studying this, thought, well, is Israel really talking to? Right. But when I sit down and study it and look at the verse there now, mm -hmm. what God was doing is telling, I hear what he was doing. He was telling Joel, hear what's going on. You see how them countries are wrong, put my, my, my people in bondage? How they, they, they sell the children and they take advantage of, the, of, of, of my children, of my people, the Israelites? Mm -hmm. Go and tell them. Hear yeah. what to do. Go and tell them, right? To prepare for war. Or prepare yeah. war. Yeah. Now, prepare war there means... It means to sanctify war. Right. That would prepare means sanctify. That is why I don't want to use prepare for war. And I said okay. prepare war. So it mm. really says sanctify war. Make right. war holy. Or be, or, right? right. I make a holy war. You know, some Muslims say a jihad is a holy war. Right. Because they sanctify the war. The war mm -hmm. or the battle, the war is sanctified. Right. Right? Uh, and that is where jihad and all them things come from. Holy war. Because the the... the, the, the the religious people sanctify the one, say, okay, and this is not a devilish word, it's a holy war. Mm -hmm. Now, here it is God telling the nations are wrong. All your um, 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 sanctify your war. 
right? Sanctify. Mm -hmm. it. And this is for the heathens, not the Jews, eh? not God right. people, not even Christians. And there's right. the heathens, the, 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 and the people who are fighting against the Christians. You say you ought to do, prepare war. You're telling them that, eh? not the Christians. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Wake up the mighty men. Here, what to do? All them fellas they have who are soldiers and who are fighting war. Wake them up, shake them up, mm -hmm. rile them up. And let all, uh, let all the men of war come near and let them come. And let them come up. Now, if you study the chapter, well, when God's telling Joel to tell him, let them come up, he means Jerusalem. Eh? Okay. Now, in the old days, what <clears throat> happened in the old days, even if you, if you study the book of Samuel, when Israel was going into war, they asked Samuel to make a sacrifice to God, mm -hmm. to sanctify the battles and the wars. So what happened now in, in, in those days, and what happened, anybody going to war, they used to sanctify the war. Right. He's still going to do a sacrifice. They're going to pray to their gods, whoever their gods were. They're going right. to pray to their God, and the holy men would sanctify the one say, okay, uh, and there's a holy war. But a lot of people, they're fighting war, fight, fighting against other people, and they're sanctifying the war, or thinking they sanctify the war. Right. So it is God telling them, well, here what's going on. Prepare for war. Prepare war. Go and sanctify. Right. It, it, it doesn't mean prepare, the, the, the translated prepare, but it right. means sanctify, sanctify war. Right. Make it a holy war now. It's yeah. a holy one. You come up. And then he, he go on in verse 11, say, beat your prune hooks and thing into spears and all you come up the road. And when I'm in the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the valley of decision, we will deal you. I will turn, I will, de I will de defeat you. Right. So you telling them now, well, I'll make, a, I make it a holy war. Call a holy war and come up against my people in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. I will sit in Jerusalem. I will deal with all you. But right. you see, we must interpret or misunderstand what that script they mean in the past. Right. In the past, we thought we, we thought well prepare for war, and it, it was set to Christians. But if mm -hmm. you study the, the the three verses from nine to twelve carefully, he's telling the prophet Joel, talk to the enemy, go and, and proclaim, proclaim to the enemy. Go and tell everybody, let all of them know here what's going on. Or let prepare for war. Right. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. understand. Mm -hmm. Or let prepare for. War. So this is what God was saying to, uh, at that time. Beat all the prune hooks and the thing, and all come. Oh, 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 I will come, I'll come along and, and, and meet me and, and meet all in the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the valley of decision, the valley mm -hmm. of defeat, or wherever it is. So I will deal with all it down there. Yeah. So this is what that scripture means. But I was studying that now uh -huh. um, on the basis of, of, um, of praise and worship. Right. Now, while today I just stumbled on a book by a guy, a, a guy called um, Terry Law. Mm -hmm. um, he's a bookmark pre and praise and worship. I was kind of reading his sample and thing, and he he um and the song the story his story song so similar to mine and my right. personal story as I was explaining to you today. Yeah. And funny, and one of the scripture verses he used in the ministry is is um um let this mind be in you, Philippians chapter two and two, verse five. Two and five. Oh, sure. Yes. Let okay. this mind be in you, which was oh, in Christ gosh. Jesus, right? So yeah. all these things I say, but it's, it's similar. And, and and if you want to go a little further now, or where you take when down. Mm -hmm. Today I say, mm -hmm. I had a Zoom meeting on this morning. We with a, um, a, 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 I do some work with, with, a, with a particular ministry. So I had a Zoom meeting. So mm -hmm. afterwards I say, let me get my mind into, you know, offer work and thing and get it focused on the word of God. So yeah. I go on, on YouTube and I pull up a, a, a TDJ's last thing, right? Yeah. He have a, he had a, a, his last Sunday, his uh -huh. a message is entitled, um, is entitled Branded. Okay. Right? Branded. Mm -hmm. So Branded now, he spoke on Philippians chapter 5 and going to eat. Okay. Right? Let okay. this mind be, so as, as about all these things, uh, I, I, you know, it, um, they go, it, 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 it kind of falling together now because now God is a pretty good stick. Yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. putting together. So, okay, this is what we talk about. Yeah. So if I deviate a little bit and thing and I keep going on is is, is really um to come back to something. Yeah, but I hope I know yeah. where I'm going because no. <laughs> some, so so what happened there now is that is, is that it's praise and worship I'm looking for. Right. And what's going on now is that um is that when when Jake was talking about let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, and right. and, and and Paul are talking about on those things, what he was saying. He read from a Bible called the LED or some kind of thing. Okay. So, uh, what, what, what a translation says is that think like Christ. Think the okay. same way Christ think, right? Or Christ right. was thinking. The same way he right. was thinking. Think like Christ. Right. Follow Christ. Be like Christ. And then he say he think it not, he, 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 um, he thought it not um, 
robbery mm-hmm. to to you know to to be like God. Okay. Right, and he made himself lower. Right. Or, 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 be like God to make himself lower than God. That, that is just what Philippians was saying. So it is he was saying that, and transcends that Jesus emptied himself to become mm-hmm. a man. Mm-hmm. So I hear this now, and during that time, what, what was said is that Jesus um, emptied himself, he became a man. Right. He wasn't God, he became a man. He came Correct. to earth as a man. Because mm-hmm. if he had come as God, then Mary could not have accommodated him in a human womb. Because right. God is so great and, and all the power and everything that God has. So and this is what was the you know um branded was and then and and then he spoke about um apart from that he spoke about all what Jesus went through he learned obedience by the things he suffered. Okay. And then by his stripes we are healed because by his the pressure he went through, the things he went through, the 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 the, 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 the all, all, all the, 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 the the things that, that um Christ went through the, the beatings, the blood, the, the crucifixion, and all those things. All those things were necessary, right? All those right. things were necessary. For, you know, he had to die. Yes. You know, he became obedient even up to unto death. So Jesus had to die. He had to become obedient to death. For mm-hmm. you, you know, let death take control of him and let him die in order for him to defeat it. Right. Because what what uh, was happening now is that Jesus was using the Things he went through to gain victory, and that's what I'm saying. Yes, for all of us. Yes, mm-hmm. and then and what he was saying now is that the things that Jesus went through, he gained victory for all of us. So we have victory of it. So sometimes we might be going through something. We might be going through some kind of challenge. You might be, you know, your financial challenges. You find, and you're going through physical, personal challenges, and 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 you realize, you know, what happened. If I gain the victory over this and I, and I submit to that and I fall it and I stay quiet and I go through this, what mm-hmm. happened now, as we all know, we will be able to deliver people who are the same problem. Correct, yes. So sometimes we're going through something, but uh, while, while we're going through that, it's, we, we have to look at the, the, the end of the tunnel. At the end of the tunnel, if you're going through a dark tunnel, the end of the tunnel mm-hmm. is what we have to look for and not while you're in the tunnel. And they don't stay in a, a particular place. They keep moving. Yes. Mm-hmm. So this, and this is what branded it. So, so you, you have your brand. You even spoke about when Thomas said, listen, when Jesus, I'm going to say Jesus rose from the dead, right? Mm-hmm. As Jesus rose from the dead, he <laughs> said, he ain't asked to see Jesus or to hear him talk. He said, I want to see the sky in his hand. I want to see the brand of the crucifixion on Jesus' hand. And mm-hmm. I put my hand in it to make sure that it's him. Right. Right? So, yeah. so that's what you're talking about, branded. Mm-hmm. But this guy now, Terry Law, his wife died. Right. right, he was in England and he, you know, he praised God he, he, in, in the ministry and thing. And his wife come and died. Mm-hmm. And as and when his wife died, now, when his wife died, um, you know, he go through the pressure and the three children and thing. But right after that is a process he went through. He went through the suffering. But you know what? People, people, and the enemy start to accuse him and say he did something wrong. He have sinners in his life. Right. Right. You have sin in his life that and that's why these things happen to him. What you do wrong, just, uh, just like normal people today. If some if something grows somebody, somebody uh, your wife died or or something happened to your business or something, something happened, happened to you. The first thing people say you have sin in your life. Mm-hmm. So what he was saying, a woman came to his door and said, But you have sin in your life. Then he started to check himself and realize, Well, I've been serving God all the time. Mm-hmm. Then the enemy started to attack him. Now he couldn't even praise God. He was a worship leader and a preacher. He couldn't right. praise God, he couldn't do anything because he checking himself to see if well, what, what I do wrong. Yeah, I'm praising yeah, yeah. God. I worshiping wow. God. I sacrificing. I going through yeah. all these things. And look at the pressure he's going through now, man. Yeah. Just look at the pressure he's going through. And people even come in and tell me, boy, um, repent. Mm-hmm. Say, Christian, be looking at me and tell him you repent. repent. It's only when um, people are sinning their lives and things. I'm, I'm going through that. Um, that Them this things kind of evil thing is happening to you. Yeah. Right? So he started to think twice now and, and question himself. I question God, right? Mm-hmm. Why my wife should come and die? Right. I, I mean, understand why I should go through all this thing? Yeah. And his wife died in an accident suddenly. Oh. So he go through the process, which I understood because I went through that process already. And that's mm-hmm. why I, I felt a kindred spirit with that guy because right. he came out of it, right? right? And just like me, you came out of a depression after I lost your mother. Yes. I came out of the depression and I pick up my life. But people want to know, well, how come he 
how come he just pick and pick up his life just so so quickly and moving on? Right. And he don't look like anything affecting him, but they don't know what's going on inside. Right, right. Right? So what was going on inside is that God was taking me through that. Only way I could go through these, these and these kind of challenges and these kind of disappointments and these kind of painful experiences in your life is when God take you through it. Correct. Right? Sometimes you, 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 you be bat, uh, I'm battling and you get flashbacks you get, uh, and you go through things, but the and thing about it is God is faithful and you have to trust him to take you through those those um, kind of battles, the loss of a family member, a spouse, and, and, and things like that. He's the only one who could take you through that. Correct. Because people are not going to take you through that. People are the one who now see you down and want to pull you down. Mm -hmm. Especially people are depending on you, your close, your, your brothers, your sisters. I'm talking about only siblings. I'm talking about people who we in church with. Now, sure. what, uh, uh, what happened there now? He started to wonder. And Terry lost out of civil. I wonder why I do wrong, but check himself. Mm -hmm. Like God depart from man. Sometimes when it, you go into a situation like that, God is nowhere to be found True. by the human, but He is there. Yes. God right there. He don't, he don't leave us or forsake us because He's not a man that He should lie, not the mm -hmm. Son of Man that He should repent. If He say, "I will be with you," I will be, I will, I shall be, I will be with you. I shall never I'll leave you, nor forsake you. He there, but he quiet. Right. He watching and he, he let him go through the process. Yes. You know why? Because yes. you're you getting a little scar here on, the, on your shoulder. A little cut here on this one here. Your heart have a little something and it. You're going through a thing, but God is taking it through that because you are being mm -hmm. strengthened. You feel you, 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 you're going through anything, but you are being strengthened because we're in a war. Yes, yes. From the time you, you, you do the right thing or you start to serve God and you accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, you're praying, you're fasting, you're going to church, you're in a war. True. People don't realize that they end up in a, you, you're in a battle when you, you decide to change your life. Why no, when you decide to I'm, change yeah. your life? True. Why when you decide to change your life, things start to go haywire. True. Things that wasn't affecting you before. So you know what you're tempted to do? Let me not go to church here because like I irritate the devil. But yeah. that is what all those things happen. You know, right? I want to add something too. You know, you would look at yourself as like wounded. And you would look at yourself at that time as weak and you have no strength and thing, right? But you make me remember something when um mommy died pastor he had a dream and he said sarah i seen like this lion like this lion wounded in the jungle you mm -hmm. know and sometimes it would he didn't he didn't interpret the dream for me but he said sarah seeing like this lion wounded in the jungle and i, I told uh as you say not now i remember his dream and uh, and a, a picturing, you know, like you going through that and you're thinking like you there by yourself as something insignificant. But what if it was you that he saw? You understand? And this great animal, the lion, you mm -hmm. understand? Wounded well, in the jungle. Well, well, I'll tell you something. I went through that. Eh? When, when, when I left, I left, China. Yeah, your mother died in, um, in December. Yeah. In December of 2014, and I had to go to Bermuda to work, but I ended up going by myself mm -hmm. in 2015 April, and it was around my birthday and my anniversary. I usually go there on my first trip. So I alone yeah. in this hotel now, and I, I sit down and I, 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 I by myself, I work in any day, I'm feeling good, but when I go, I go back to the hotel by myself in the night, yeah. I sit down in any hotel, and I there now, I'm not telling you something. I've never felt so lonely in my entire life from my child. Like I, I feel like I didn't have anybody around me, I had yeah. nothing, nobody. And she was I, there I, I, with you just on the, on the last visit, eh? Yeah. Well, the well, visit the first, before that, yeah, eh? The visit before that, she was there with me because we yeah. were there in November. Yeah, she, correct. Right? Yeah. The end of October, November, and she died in December. So we went there now. And what happened is I ne I've never felt so lonely. I sat, I sat down by myself yeah. and I sat, I sat down, just feel depressed. I feel like a darkness come on me. And, I, and, and, and that, I say, where's God, boy? Yeah. Where's God in all this? I go yeah. through all this and where's God in all this? But going through the depression... I'm going mm -hmm. through the depression. I, you know, I, I eat it and, and the people in the, 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 the school I went to visit, they, they tell me, come, let's take care. I said, no, 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 I just want to be by myself because right. it was my birthday. That night was right. my birthday. They want to take me off my birthday. Oh, the okay. anniversary, that was the 20th April. Yeah, yeah, anniversary, yeah. I would have been the 30th. But right. I was leaving, I would have, um, I was leaving on the 29th, the next day to go to New York. And I said, I'm going to Ohio because I didn't go to a funeral. Right. So that night, no, I tell you, God was nowhere around. And I said to myself, I said, this is how Jesus felt on the cross, boy. Mm -hmm. This is how Jesus felt on that cross. 
Because you say, Father, why have you forsaken me? Because you're going through a moment of testing where you have to experience something. So while I did and I feel in that, you know, I realize, I realize when Jesus was on that cross and God, he wasn't sensing God, the presence mm-hmm. of God, no way around him. He was mm-hmm. still talking to God. True. But he was talking to his mother, take this. He's talking to God and telling him, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He, in his darkest yeah. moment, when he was feeling God, he has still sensing talking, God yeah. nowhere wrong. You know what he do? Yeah. He's still talking to God. You may have God there answer him or God there responding. He was still talking to God in wow. the middle of the darkness. Yeah. In the middle of the depression. I'll tell you, wow. I'll tell you how, how I, I can didn't bring think that about it like that. Yeah. When I went, when I left Bermuda, I flew into New York. And, and your aunt and I'm saying, no, 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 you can't be by yourself. I say, hi, hey, going out to Ohio. Mm-hmm. I rent a vehicle. It was supposed to be a small vehicle. The lady said, she said, we're going. I said, I'm going out to Ohio in GFK. I said, I'm going to Ohio. And I am. Um, and I'm not going out to Ohio. I am. Um, 17 I'm in a small hours. Car. 17 hours. Nine hours from New York. Nine, okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, while I'm in the airport, now I'm picking up the car. Nobody knows where I'm going because I, 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 I have no internet. Uh, all kind of things going on. I can't. Call nobody on my phone, I had some problems with my phone, all kind of things. So nobody you know. Because that's mm-hmm. why I came to stay in New York, but I went to Ohio, I make up my mind. I yeah. said I go in there. So the lady um, tell me, um, that car too small for you to go Ohio by yourself. I she I saw well, usually I rent a big one, but I told her about the story about your mother and thing. She said, No, 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 you can't go to New York with that little thing, but that won't give me one big SUV. What should say here, yeah, yeah, I've graded you're not getting that, you're not paying nothing. Okay. I left New York by myself and drive out to Ohio, stopping on the way. And, you know, places we, we is, is around yeah, 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 many, yeah, yeah, many yeah, times. Yeah. So I go yeah. out to Ohio now. I go to Ohio, I spent 24 hours, or less than 24 hours in Ohio on my anniversary right. out there. And I left Ohio the night of my anniversary to come back. I'm 30th, right. right? While coming back, I passing through heavy rain, boy. Alone. Yeah. Heavy, heavy rain. Place you can't see in front of you and, and as is mountain roads there, so you will have a tree lane. But yeah. when a, a 40 foot container driving like a man, and he pass, you don't see the road, right? So I do, so I stop in and I, I, I on this road, but three o'clock in the morning, I heading back three, four o'clock, I, I head into New York and mm-hmm. on, on this a mountain here. Is that about mm-hmm. three, four tunnel uh, on, on, on that road? Mm-hmm. I think like the, um, the, 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 on the 70, head into okay. junction 88 or out and um, thing. So, so what happened there now? I there and I go in, I, I go in over, you know. I continue to pass and I feel sleepy yeah? and I'm tired yeah. because you remember I had a long yeah, trip yeah, yeah. all over the place. So uh, on, the, on, the, on this mountain road now, and this container come on the side of me to overtake. I on the left side and he on the outside. And, and I he come on to overtake. And all of a sudden, I gave that story, I couldn't see where I was going. And I mm-hmm. hold in it so I couldn't see where I was going. Mm-hmm. Right? I couldn't see where I was going. And I let the steering go. That's, I didn't plan to, I, by instinct, I let it go because I'm going wrong, I've been, I'm going wrong, I've been. Right. And the truck coming wrong, the bend so now, so me and see where I'm going. And I let go the steering. Right. When I catch myself, I don't know how long it was for, or, or, or what going on. When I catch myself, the container truck was there about 30 feet or more behind me. Okay. I in front. Mm-hmm. Right? The SUV line up straight on the road, so. The mm-hmm. SUV line up straight on the road. And I just grabbed the steering and continued driving. Obviously, I get frightened. I said you earlier. Right. I said this a few months ago. I lost your, I'm your mother. You and Shelly and Roderick. I said yeah. for me to, you know, to go now. So uh, what I do, I am. Um, I continue driving and I come out. But I said all that to say this. I couldn't tell grandfather. God, when I thought I was alone. When I thought I was experiencing my darkest hour, God was in it. Yes. Yeah, you understand? Mm-hmm. God was in it at that time. Yeah. So sometimes we might be experiencing um, things, you know, things are looking, things looking bleak, you're losing your business, you're going through, you're hearing from God, but God is in it. True. God is in it. And I'll tell mm-hmm. you how I come out of it. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you how I come out of it. How I mm-hmm. come out of it is, 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 is that some days, at that time, you, you can't pray. You know? yeah, I'm not yeah, praying yeah. at that time, you know. Yeah. Because God ain't nowhere wrong. And you pray yeah. like you're, 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 you're worth it anymore. God ain't that, you know. Yeah. God ain't that. God, God, you know, you're, you're, you're vexed with God. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. And you lose your, 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 somebody close to you. You ain't feeling them, you ain't sensing them, you ain't getting no comfort. And in that, and, and you ain't seen him. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you something. To get out of those kind of situations and you feel, you feel cold, 
Yeah. And you feel withdrawn. And, and, and you feel um, like God is here in prayer. That is the time. That is the time you have to come out and praise him. Mm-hmm. Now you will start to praise him. You will start to praise God, you know. You will say, right. and you can start with a hallelujah and nothing happen. But yeah. while I, I want to praise him, or nothing happening, you know, you hear the enemy pumping in your head, but you wasting time, boy. He's a yeah. sinner. Your wife, your family, you and that because of all these wrong things you do in the past. You're paying for your sins, all that coming to you now. Yeah. Right? That coming, mm-hmm. you're you getting paid back here. Heaven and hell is right here. And you yeah. get and you paying for all your sins here now. But the mm-hmm. devil is a liar. That is yeah. a big lie. God mm-hmm. taking you through these things and he stand back so that you would know the personal strength you have. You will know. Yeah. You, you will know that deep within, I'm, I'm telling you, you have so much things that you haven't used yet or you haven't recognized. So when somebody mm-hmm. going through that now, the death of somebody or, or, or somebody lost or, 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 or anything, business, anything, you yeah. have to know that God is still there with you. He has never left you nor forsake you. He's, right. he, he, he's sick it close. He's a friend that's sick it closer than a brother. Mm-hmm. And let this mind that was in Christ be in you the same way Christ thought as, as God. He is God. Yeah. And the mind of God should be in you because when we are born again, the Spirit of God comes to live in us. Yeah. And when the Spirit of God comes to live in us, you know what's going on there? We are like God. Think. What let this mind? The mind is the, is the, is the organ of thought. The mind, your mind is the organ of thought. Let this thought, let it the think in the way Christ thinks as yes. God be in yeah. you. Yeah. Because Christ was man. If you say, let this, this mind that was in Christ be in you, what you say, and, and you think of Christ as a man. Christ was not a man. He came in, yes. in the flesh of a man. Yeah, but God, what man. happened to him now? He was God incarnate. Yeah. So let this mind, let the God mind, let the same way Christ think, God think. You have to let that mind think like Christ. Think like God. Listen, you know what? God in here. But just remember that when Christ was on the cross, he was still talking to God when he didn't sense God. Yeah. And you know what we had to do? Continue talking to him. So tell me something. In your deepest, darkest moment when you was going through that depression, right? You had to see yourself out at the end of the other part of the tunnel. You had to see that light at the end of it. You had to see yourself... Um, you know, um, in a better position. You have to start imagining what God wants for you and it's something better. Nah, it don't work so. Okay. When you're in that tunnel, you don't see nothing. Mm-hmm. Only time you see the light at the end of the tunnel is when you're, when you're coming out of the tunnel. Okay. Like a train. When you're going in, you're going in with light. But by the time you get in that tunnel, it's dark. You don't get accustomed to the darkness. Okay. Even if, you want to, even if you want to imagine it, even if you want to imagine, you can't imagine because you ain't seen nothing. Okay. You're not seeing anything. Mm-hmm. So you're that time, you're in that place. You're, you're, and, and you're, and and you're just that. saying like you're wasting your time even faking it or you're wasting your time because even thinking dark. about it. You you're wasting your time. Yeah. The darkness is so thick, you can't see further than your nose. Yeah. It's thick. And, you're, and, 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 and in the natural now, your eyes don't get accustomed to the darkness yet to see if it has light ahead. All you know is yeah. the darkness there. But I'll tell you something. What is getting out of that? It's praise and worship. Mm-hmm. Yes. You don't want to do it. You don't feel like doing it. But look at say that hallelujah or praise God. And the first, the first few minutes, the first few times, the first hour, the first half an hour, you ain't hearing nothing. But if you if 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 you if if you if you if you if you, if you, if you, if you, if you worship God in fear and trembling. Remember what trembling is doing. Remember I describe what trembling is in that scripture. Work out mm-hmm. your own salvation and fear and trembling. Yeah. Trembling is doing the same thing religiously, knowing that you can't do it, but you come religiously. So you start to praise God now. Yeah. You start to thank God mm-hmm. for life. You start to thank God and you start to worship and thank yeah. you, Jesus, and thank you, Father, for this. And thank- <coughs> praise. Mm-hmm. Praise. Praise God. And, and even in the midst of your, of, of, of your darkness, you praise Him, regardless of whatever you're seeing. You keep yeah. praising Him and you yeah. praise Him. And then all of a sudden, while you praise Him, you feel the heaviness start to go. It right. might not go all one time. But, and little, you, you wouldn't go, but at least sometimes you, you, feel ready, a little, you get a little ease up. I get a little release. Even for a minute or two, while you're praising God, I keep praising Him and you praise Him and you thanking God. You're praising Him. You're just praising Him. You can't worship in there because at that point, it comes like if you are worshiping and you're seeing nothing. You're yeah. feeling God, you're sensing God. But you keep mm-hmm. praising Him and thanking Him. Praise is what gets you out of that situation. Yeah. Praising God. You know, I, I mean, you know why? Praising God because prayer is a battle. Yes. I'll show you something. 
เตือนเธอไอเซียไอเซียไอเซียเอาเทเลเอาเทเลว่าสคริปต์เจ๊ตุ๊ดเดี๋ยวมาเชื่อนะก็มาสักการ์เนี่ยอันนี้บอกว่าไอเซียไรท์ฮึฮึอ่ะทุกคอมพิวเตอร์ในฝันแม่ฉันอยู่กันอันนี้บอกว่าไอเซีย chapter thirty verse twenty nine to thirty two right ฮึฮึ I watch this this Isaiah talking to them about Assyria right I want to show praises go down Isaiah talking to them here what here what Isaiah saying ฮึฮึ You shall have a song as in the night when a holy festival is kept, and gladness of heart, right? Mm-hmm. And that's twenty-nine. And gladness of heart goes with a flute, comma to come into the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel. The Lord will cause His glorious voice to be heard and show the descent of His arm with the indignation of His anger and the flame of a devouring fire, the scattering tempest and hailstone. For true, for, 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 for true, the voice of the Lord as Syria will be beaten down, as it strikes with the rod, and in every place where the staff of punishment passes, which the Lord lays on him. And here, how it will be in verse thirty-two. Here it will be in thirty-two. Look at the end. It will be with tambourines and harps, and in battles of brandishing, he will fight with it. Mm-hmm. You see now? Yeah. Good. I, I see. I see. Nice there. Yes, I see it. Good. So, uh, what is that? With tambourines and harp, and with the praise. voice in the middle. Music. Music. Technically, in the middle, a praise man with the tambourine mm-hmm. and harp, and God mm-hmm. will be God delivering in the middle of that, you know. Right. God delivering you in the middle of your praise there. What God mm-hmm. is saying, I go march up to Assyria, and they wait. All they prepare one. Uh, So yeah. all the prepare war, or all the sanctify war, I, I make the war holy. But let me tell you something, and and the praise, and our praise, and I see I tell you something to her. Let me tell you how it does look mad. Mm-hmm. We in a war here right now, right? Mm-hmm. Enemy, I'm battling the enemy. Good. We we mm-hmm. we know Satan always fighting God people who who prison. Now yeah. I know here what going on. In the middle of the war. When you become a, uh, when I start to serve God, I'm saying I'm going to become a Christian. When I make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, mm-hmm. and and you do so, you 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 enter into a battle. Right. You go into a battle. So in the middle mm-hmm. of a battle now, and what are you doing? You shaking tambourine and harp and praising God in the middle of a battle. In the middle of a battle, you know why vengeance is mine, say the Lord. The Lord shall right. fight every battle for you. You just yeah. praise Him in the middle yeah. of every battle. You pull out your harp and your horn and your tambourine. And your ten-string instruments, and open up your mouth and give them a praise, and you just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. That's what the yeah. Bible says. Yes. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Just mm-hmm. stand still. And in the Psalm they say, and I say stand, and then again stand. Yes. Stand. Paul talk about the about the battles in Ephesians. He say stand, and having done all to stand, put on the breastplate and, and put on the helmet of salvation and the breastplate mm-hmm. of righteousness. Right, gird your waist with truth, and shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Take up the shield of faith to fight the quell and the fiery darts of the enemy, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You fight in battles. You fight battles with the word of God. I'm mm-hmm. at praise and prayer. Yes. There's nothing else here. I'm here fight this kind of battle with the word yeah. of God, praise and prayer. Yeah. And, and why I, your I, shield I, right here? Why your shield right here? Your shield of faith is to remind you. You know, so block all them fiery darts. Yeah, right here. When the enemy here. come and tell yeah. you, when the enemy come and tell you, your your wife died, or this one died, and your family, sin. your relative and died because of your sin. You just hold up and say, "My faith is in the Lord. My yeah. help comes from the Lord." And you don't study what. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. Yeah. I didn't come here to speak about that, but somebody, I sh- I'm sure I'm saying this to to, uh, to console somebody who has uh, who who has been who who um. Who, who has had negative words spoken to them, and people yeah. telling them you're going through that because it's a sinner and because mm-hmm. of where you do wrong and they're paying yeah. for the sins. But I come here this evening to tell that person it's not your sin, because the grace of God is sufficient for you, even if you sin, mm-hmm. even if you sin, 
or knowingly, or even, even if you sin, the grace of God is sufficient for you. Just yeah. repent. Mm -hmm. Nothing is permanent. Uh, no sin is permanent. Or what you see in the flesh is temporary. What you don't see is permanent. Correct. So what you did in the flesh is something temporary. But the Bible says that when you repent, and you, and, 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 and you repent, and you confess your sins to one another, to God, what happens? You throw it in the lake of forgetfulness. All things are passed away and all things become new. Mm -hmm. So nothing you did in your past is what's going to determine your future. What you no. do in the present, what you do in the present is what determines your future. If you accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior now, your future may not be bright and it may not be prosperous financially like what people think. But I know you will have the grace to go through whatever it is you have ahead of you. Yes. Everything will be nice and dandy. You still go through your problems. You still go through your, pre um, your pressure. But you know what will happen? You will have the strength to go through it. Yes. Correct. And that is what, and, 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 and that's probably why I'm here today to just say that because as I say, I come to talk on praise and worship, but I'm speaking on praise, but I'm speaking of, 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 about it in a more practical way than going to church and raising a hand and say, oh, this is the healer. And, and that is, yeah, the praise and this thing. I'm speaking about praising God in a practical way. Correct. Praising God in a practical way. Yeah. Now, church praise is good, and that's for the church. But what mm -hmm. about when you by yourself and you have no church going on now? <laughs> what about those people who have a pastor yeah. to go and talk to on a Wednesday and have a pastor meeting and, mm -hmm. and, and, and then have no church Sunday morning and they go to church? What about those people who are at home? Those are the people I want to address. The people who are home and who, who can't go to church and they need mm -hmm. a, 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 a word from the Lord and need a breakthrough. And it's you and God alone in it. And you're feeling and, and, and like you're alone. Get on your knees. Pray. Thank yeah. God and praise Him. And that is how mm -hmm. you get out of this situation. And yeah. you know what praise do too? Praise. Mm -hmm. Heal people. People receive healing from praise, you know. Right. People receive their healing from praise. Look at Benny Hill Ministries. Praise. He prays for hours. And mention people get healed with any praise. Yeah. He, he ain't no big preacher. As a matter of fact, he the, theologically. And then here, uh, 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 up to the standard, half of them fellas and them who know of those uh, theologians who preach the word and thing. But during his praise, people get healed. Eh? True. Right? People Thousands, get healed. Yeah. And got healed during what? Praise. Mm -hmm. Because here, preaching, you know, he just talk and so yeah, and, and, so praise the Lord, this, and they have the worship going on, but people get healed. Yeah. Praise, uh, uh, praise and worship heal, and people get healing, not only physically, spiritually, mentally. When I'm speaking about healing, I'm speaking holistically. Right. Your body, your soul, and your spirit is healed. Mm -hmm. Your mind is, 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 is healed as well, too. Yes. So we, we, we have to look at some of these things now and, and, and understand that. And you know what? We have to praise. Regardless of the situation, regardless of where you are, how you feel, where you're going through. Correct. You praise God in the midst of your storm. And you know what? You're going to see a calm come over. You may not come over the situation, but you will be calm in the situation. Yeah. I was True. watching the news on CNN a day and they showing you I'm a moment of calm. One man said, and the superimposed a, a crowded street and people running busy, busy and he in the middle of the street and he saw. <laughs> that is how you will look. Yeah. Watch, I watch the advertisement many moment I come on CNN and you will see that. Yeah. And as I say, I, 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 I didn't know where I was going today. I know I was going to talk on praise and, 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 and then this warfare come up, prepare war. Now, as I say, prepare was not for you to prepare for war. You know? mm -hmm. Prepare was God was instructing the hidden, your enemy. God was telling the enemy, here we're going. All you prepare war, all you make all, all you call a holy war. Right. All you call a holy war. And come up again, and tell and, and, and tell them, come up. If you look at at, at the at the at the end of verse 9 and um, chapter 3 of Joel, and we tell them all you do all the thing. Wake up all your strong men and them, all your army men, all your soldiers, and all you come up. We will tell them all the, every time you hear the Bible speak about coming up, it speaks oh, about Jerusalem. Right. So you say here what happened, all you come up now. Mm -hmm. You get all your strong men. Have your little sacrifice and call it and call in the Obia man and kill two fowl, right? Yeah. And burn some incense and thing and about three, four candles and organize all this. So what about let's do before all you go outside the tower? I'm speaking mm -hmm. to the bandits now because I heard that before they go, they tell themselves they'll go by a Take, by, by, by Obia people now right. and tell them to put a, a protection or something some kind a of protection guard. yeah and, and tell the Obia people now we go in out there to, to put on our work so I want you to put a guard on me right 
Mm -hmm. If I got them, I do a sacrifice and put a God them, so when I go there, I won't get catch nothing. Well, I come to tell Ole something today. That God them mean nothing anymore. Yeah. Ole prepare for war. Yes. Ole, Ole, Ole have a holy war, but God will fight our battles first. Correct. And whatever you think going through, all who had their plans mm -hmm. and who want to, who, uh, Ole, prepare, Ole prepare war. Yeah, I'm glad, yeah, glad you bring this up because, you know, while studying those books last year, I was like, um, you know, Lord, you take them through all this thing, right? Yes, they were disobedient to you. And then you send them into captivity for punishment. And then you take them same Babylonians to punish them back again. So I was like, we understand. But now I understand why he did that cycle where they fell into disobedience mm -hmm. and they went into captivity. And then, you know, he spoke to, you know, he, he, the, his, the enemies now, he's dealing with the enemies. You understand? So. But, but let's see, one thing in all the years I've been studying the Bible, spending time in prayer and fasting and worship, God, when he was going to create man, mm -hmm. and him, the Holy Spirit and our Lord, was together up in heaven, up, up in, 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 in heaven, and let's sit down and let's say, let, let, let us make man in our own image. Mm -hmm. and the more I study God is the more I see man is like God in many ways right right mm -hmm. man does get angry man does get angry you know yeah angry you know, change your mind no yeah like the is true angry so happy God, sad God, is like an emotional roller because it's the same exact thing God have feelings like us too exact right? same thing Jesus yeah because he, like yeah, he was man. angry with them then he was then he kind of cool off a little bit. Then he give them an next chance. He get angry with them. He cool off until he finally can take it no more. But and yeah. As a parent, you, you're a parent. I am a parent too. And sometimes the children get a vex. The children yeah. do things that disappoint you and they hurt you. Yeah. The children do things to hurt you and, and you get angry and you say, look, I'm going to punish them. I, I'm not going to this. I'm going to that. And you want to... You, you, I mean, you want them to come back, but you, I mean, you want, uh, I mean, you want to really discipline them then, not really yes. kill them. Yeah. You, you want to discipline the children because they disappoint you and things. I don't want baby mm -hmm. children, I want big children, small children, all kind of children. Yeah, Friends yeah. Too. So, yeah, you want to discipline them, right? But yeah. here what happened? You want to discipline them. You put them under pressure, but nobody better to touch that child. True. Nobody That's better to touch that is. child. You know why? Because the love the love that we inherit from God. That's the kind of love that God has for us. So yes. even if we are disobedient and we go, God still loves us, you know? Yeah, true. God still loves us, but he just wants to yeah. chastise. What did the Bible say? The Lord, God chastised those whom he loved. Yes. That's what the Bible say? Yeah. That God chastised those whom... So God, just like our, our parents, we, would, we want to chastise our children, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and because they were disobedient, but... Nobody else can interfere with them. Because if anybody do one of the children anything, I come in for you. Yeah. Same way God is operating. The same way God is. Correct. I chastise in my child. You don't, you don't <clears> chastise <throat> and, you don't, and you don't take advantage. Yes. Yeah, right? I and I do them. Yeah. And let, I, I, I hope you know that I'm my, that I my child. That's what God saying. I hope you know that I'm my child. Well, let yes. go ahead. Well, you say, let me just save you and they do wickedness. Well, let just keep them as slaves, but you want to destroy them and think, no, 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 no. I'm yeah, taking yeah, that yeah. Yeah. Oh, And you know that I'm my child? Yeah. So God... Sometimes you go into things, but then and look at me as a parent now. I see mm -hmm. the same thing with God because we're talking about it. What or what we do as a parent? I want my children to be independent and, and to be strong and to know their, their ability and their selfhood. So there are certain times now as they grow older, you give you release them so mm -hmm. that they will develop uh, um, independence and they were prepared for the days that you are not there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you, because you don't want for your children to be 30 and 40 and if a parent dies and the children can't manage on their own, they can't survive. True. On their own. They True. depend on just everything just goes shipwreck. They can't mm -hmm. run the business that they, they inherit. They can't um, feed themselves. They're not taking care of their family. They, uh, and they're just they're stagnant. Right? Because the parent didn't give the child the opportunity to grow and yeah. develop and become independent. You keep yes. them on it here, you keep them stagnated, which is not a good thing. So many times people would say, well, you know, well, well for me, well, no, fathers and mothers think different. Right. Mothers and nurturers, she would want to, 
protect them and think about the father now. Listen, I want girls and boys. You want them to be strong and independent so they can stand up on their own two feet. Mm -hmm. They want when they, when their daughter marry a man, if the if the and then the marriage and and unless say something happened to the man and he can't finance some of the things they want the daughter to support him because that's how God created woman to be a help meet the man. Right. Not to be a foot or a stool or to be controlled by a man, but to be a help meet. Right. Right? So this is how it is and you're going on there. So God in his wisdom is the same way. He yes. wants he wants us. Sometimes he leaves us alone to run. What he wants us to do is to learn to be independent, not independent of him, but independent of other people. Mm -hmm. Right? And to become more dependent on him. Right. So when I see people talking about God, this and God, I go, go we just like God. It's, sure. when, I, when I say we, I'm speaking about those who have the spirit of God living in them. Eh? And yeah. those who are born again. I'm speaking about unregenerated man here. Yes. Because, right. I, because unregenerated man is carnal. You understand? You're spiritual. Yes. Yeah. So you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You're not born again. Then you're carnal. You're not yeah. like God. Yes. You have some of the characteristics of God. But you're talking about the spirit of spirit. God that dwells in you. Where, where you, you would walk with the mind of Christ. And you have mm -hmm. the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit in you. Yes. Right? Then you would understand how God thinks. Yes. And then... And then uh, what has happened, or the reason we've seen so much crime and so much abuse all about it is because you have so many unregenerated people yeah. walking around mm -hmm. inside and outside of the church, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, only outside the church, you know, yeah, inside, inside and outside too. of the church. If we had mm -hmm. set a, if you set a standard in the church where this, the biblical standard, where this is the fruits, we judge people by their fruit, then plenty. And in order to be, be allowed into the church, right? Yeah. I told you physical church and I mentioned in order to be allowed inside here, we have to judge your fruit. Right. You know, the whole church will be empty, half of the churches. <laughs> because they're gonna get a pastor coming. Suffering, patience, kindness, yeah. love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what we so, have to do is strive to be perfect. We have to yeah. work out our salvation and strive to be perfect. So yeah. even if you have all the fruits, at least you try to demonstrate it. Or if you see you're trying, mm -hmm. then they come. But some people, they're not covering up now and they're even trying to acquire mm -hmm. the fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And how you would judge people by the fruit. Yes, true. So that's the whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm there with that. And, 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 and I mean, look, and look how far we go. Yes. You reach. Yeah, but it was good. Yeah. Prepare war. And that was really for the heathen nation, who yeah. held who held who held the um the Israelites into captivity, you know. Yeah. So, so when you say prepare, remember it prepare me to sanctify. Sanctify. That yes. what prepare them in sanctify. Sanctify the war. Sanctify a war. Yeah. Sanctify a war. Yeah. And then good. come. Yeah. Bless all your war. Make it holy mm -hmm. and then come now. Meet me mm -hmm. up and come up and meet me now. Come up and meet yeah, my yeah. people. Yeah. You will end up in the valley of the decision, the valley of Jehoshaphat. Come up yeah. against me now. Come up. Mm -hmm. That's what God was telling them. I will yes. deal with all you. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then you see in Isaiah. He couldn't, take, we, it. He huh? couldn't take it no more. Yeah, he couldn't yeah. take it anymore. <clears throat> yeah, and in Isaiah, what? Uh, the, the, the scripture I read from Isaiah there to, and to show you where in the midst of your praise. But, but, yeah, you know, yeah. He destroying people. And he had tambourine and harp and voices, you know. Yes. When Israel, when Israel was going up, when Israel mm -hmm. used to go up to, what thing is have? It used to have musicians Music, in the mountain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're going up the road there now. They're, they're going first. Yeah, they're going first. Yeah. They're in front. The musicians. Yeah. Yeah. The musicians in front. But then you see the rest of the world take it there because when when you look at those movies <laughs> with the with, with the uh, the red coats and the black, the the the, 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 the and people them who fighting in the civil war and some of the, the European war. You know they used to have drummers before them, All right? So they tell us if it's a march, so the yeah. men go march in time, yeah. but they really don't understand the original concept, right? Of of why you have music when you're going up to war, right? So here it is: you have a, a, a headset and you're jamming some YouTube or music on your phone there, and you're, and you're going to fight a battle. And you're praising God in the middle of the battle. So the enemy wants to worry going on with these people. Yes. They come to fight war. 
But the weapons yeah. of all warfare are not carnal. Yes. They are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. So when the yeah. enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit yes. of the Lord will raise up a standard against them. Yes. And no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. And any no. tongue that rises in judgment against me, I will condemn. For that is the inheritance of the servants of God. They didn't say, hear what he, and, and that's it. A lot of people understand that. Yeah. People feel that any tongue that rises in judgment against you, right? Yeah. God will condemn. It's you. But you have, you have you, you will condemn. You, yeah. you will put them in their place one time. So when Correct. they see a, somebody accusing a Christian person or somebody who knows the Lord, I think Christian for everybody who knows what I'm talking about. So, and, and then they turn around now and you put them in their place. Hey, who you talking to? You? Not me, boy. You know, no, we're talking, yeah. you're accusing me wrongfully, boy, and you're putting them in yeah, the place. Exactly. Right? What's happened? That is your inheritance. The mm -hmm. servants have got inheritance. They put people in their place. When they come to accuse you, they have no case. They so have you come no in case. to tell yes. me now that Correct. I lost, that my wife died suddenly. I lost my wife because I had sin in my life. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. And I quote in scripture, if you're not telling somebody can come and, the devil is the accuser, the, the, the brethren. So any human being come and try to accuse you working for the devil. True. If Peter was with Jesus for so long, and when Jesus tell, and Peter tell Jesus, and, Jesus, and Jesus told Peter, you're going to do something. And Peter said, no, Lord, so and just said, get behind me, Satan. Yes, correct. He spoke to Apostle Peter, to, hey, get behind me, Satan. Yes. Right? You don't know what you're saying. Yeah. You don't know what you're saying. Get behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. Call him Satan, mm -hmm. get behind me, Satan. You don't know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You really have to physically, you really have to say it with your mouth. You know, really get behind me, Satan. Yeah, but people yeah. too. Yeah, I'll say we really have to say people it. Too. Yeah. Look, yeah. At time, at time I talking to this guy and I said something and he, he started to argue and he started to talk and things. So something he say and I say, you know, spiritual things are spiritual. He deserves him. So he said me a spiritual. Mm -hmm. But what he what the, what he calls spiritual is, is 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 really a form of spiritual. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So yes. I, I didn't I didn't accuse them of not being spiritual, but he was saying something and I just say spiritual things are spiritual. He doesn't so like he can't trust about them and he say, so what if you lie in spiritual? <laughs> <laughs> if you're spiritual, yeah. look, people don't know you're spiritual. Yeah. You don't have to say it. You, you, no. it by, by speaking and walking and talking and by a whole demeanor. Right? People will know you're spiritual. Mm -hmm. discussions, you encourage the kind of um Stuff you allow into your into your into your into, into your body into your eye gate. I don't want physically. I don't want your eye gate. What you see, yes. what you hear, and things like that. What you allow. <clears throat> Correct. Those are things mm -hmm. that 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 affect you. So mm -hmm. we 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 have to um, we, we we have to understand that we have to understand that praise is a weapon. Yes, yeah, true. That he used during war. Yes. So whenever the enemy come in to attack you, you just praise God, mm -hmm. and that's the weapon you have. Yes, correct. And how I pray, turn and, on and, some and, YouTube as they say, turn on some worship music. Yeah. Serenthanistic. Should get cut off. She came back on. Yeah. Uh, are you hearing me? Yeah, I'm hearing you now. Huh? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm hearing you good now. I'm hearing you. No, I'm talking yeah, to Linda. I'm talking to Linda. She said my I talk internet louder got when I have on My internet she, got interrupted. She said I talk loud when I have on the head. So like I hear that I... I yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you, you remain, remain streaming by yourself? No, I was talking to her there because I know we get cut off. But let me tell you something. My mother from Parliament, you know. I see. <laughs> and my uncle from Parliament, all them Campbell from Parliament talk loud, you know. I don't yeah. know if you call the place quiet. 
But, Listen, but it I remains. Listen, Miss Tomlow, I say what I grew up on in Maryland, so maybe that's why. <laughs> Probably the amount of cars passing. <laughs> yes, a noisy environment, so I cause them talking loud. You only get cut off for a little while because when I'm looking at the stream here, um, uh -huh. I was still on. I think I think cut off. It's only you went off. Yeah, you didn't even... I'm telling you, my internet. Huh? Yeah, it didn't even oh, stick. Did so mm -hmm. I said it didn't even stick. It just went straight through. Yeah, that's good, man. It's just my um yeah. thing. Yeah. So it was good, man. Prepare war, yeah. sanctify the war, and um, he was speaking to the heathens to you know don't mess with my people. Right. Come up and meet me. Come up to Jerusalem and meet yeah. me and see what I'll sanctify, do. Sanctify. What are you saying? Hear what to do? Sanctify all your war and come up and meet me now. Come up. Yeah. And hear what to do? Yeah. Look, I'm just so you know. Bring all your strong men, all them strong fellas you have sleeping and slumbering up. Wake them up and bring them up. And I yeah. will destroy them in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Yes. Yeah. And then he said, I, so I, uh -huh. I will turn your children over to, to, to the same thing they do with Judah. You, 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 and they will become slaves of Judah and Judah will sell the children too. If you read, if you read um, um, chapter 3, you'll see that. Right. He gave them a piece of their own medicine. Yeah. Yeah. So that is what's yeah. going on. <clears throat> yeah. So, so this afternoon, um, you know, you may be wondering, you know, I, Sarah and Glenn, you know, I um, I don't even have the spirit of God living in me, but I would like to invite him into my heart this afternoon to come and live in me, to be um regenerated, to um discern. You know, to really live for him, to live a changed life. You know, I'm fed up going through what I'm going through and I really need help and I really believe that this God could help me, right? Well, the criteria is you just confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead and you shall be saved. So this afternoon, I'll just lead you into a short um, sinner's prayer. You just repeat after me and then... um. You know, you you can't you just get a Bible, you know, um, reach out for help. Um, you know, we here if you want to speak as well too, but get a Bible and read, pray, ask the Lord to help you. Ask this Holy Holy Spirit is our teacher, right? Ask the Holy Spirit to come and teach and guide you into all truth, right? So if that's you this afternoon, just repeat after me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. In need of a savior. Come into my life. And live in me. I believe. That you rose. Jesus Christ. From the dead on the third day. And Lord. I, be, I ask you. To just come and change my life. Live in me. Teach me. Guide me. Into all truth. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. So if you said that prayer, we'd just like to say congratulations. And, um, you know, as we said earlier, it's not an overnight change. It's not an instant something. It's not going to be all honky-dory, all happy. We all go through our testings and trials. But, you know, our testings and trials, they work, work out for our good, right? We see... You know, we, we discover a, a whole different realm of God when we go through what we go through. And count it all joy, as Paul said, right? Count it all joy, your testings and your trials and your tribulations, right? And in the end, just give God all the glory because he know what he's doing. And he um, allows us to go through these things to help somebody else who is going through it or who will go through it eventually you know sometimes you cross paths with um people who go through these similar things so we just like to thank you for joining us this afternoon we don't delete any of the broadcasts all are here and um you can go back and look at them and this week you are definitely going to be hearing from our international guest so they're loading up their messages. We have two coming in this afternoon. So um, I'll send it for you and you could just um, broadcast it. So I'm excited to hear, you know, what they are about to share as well too. You hear me? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. I was saying, yeah, I'm with me. Yeah, yeah. I'm with me. Uh -huh. Yeah, but 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 yeah. I am. I'm looking forward to hearing from Skylar Travis and Ruth Travis because there's a little while we haven't heard from them. And um, yeah. I don't even know how they how they make out with all this um snow and this weather that was going through in the stages. So I expect them to come with something cold this week. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, get something, something hot. Oh, something hot to warm up the place. Well, well, <laughs> I, I know, but even the cold, I nothing. <laughs> I want to see if they deliver their messages of the shivering. And you know, mm -hmm. I want to say that I am also um, I've a good friend of mine now in a school with who passed through depression in Texas. I have a client who's, who, who well, was stuck here and her home, um, the, the, um, the her taps were, um, were broken in her home and the house was flooded out in, out right. in, um, in Houston. So I, I want to let those wow. people know if all my friends and them who are in Texas and these days, they might be making a joke, but I'm really concerned and I'm thanking, I thank God that you, you all are seeing the tail end of this um, thing that is happening. Yeah, yeah. So God bless and don't forget, um, Soup for Your Soul this week, sometime as soon as we receive the messages, we'll stream it. And we we'll yeah. see you on Sunday, please God. And Sarah, don't forget to come here. If you see Sarah wearing the same clothes because she was on fire Sunday. And she... <laughs> And they still have some anointing and some, 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 some anointing still on the clothes. So she might do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So take care. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite dress, by the way. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. No so problem. have a blessed afternoon. And thanks for joining us. If you're now joining the broadcast, um, as we end, just give it some time and you can go back and replay it. So have a blessed afternoon and see you again on Sunday. Prepare Goodbye. war. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay.